Honey, what is it this time? Good. Another nightmare. Oh, God. Yeah. Honey, don't you worry. Mm. Mm. Let us pray. Mm. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father, we come against every contrary spirit that is disturbing us in this house. King of kings, we cover our house with the blood of Jesus. Amen. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Amen. We cover the whole family with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray that you be with us. Guide and protect us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 The banks have been after me. If only they knew my predicament. This is when I need God most in my life. Only a miracle can save me and I need it. God, I need a miracle. Hmm. Hmm? I want you to understand that I am beside you all the time. Hmm. And that God will do something very, very soon. Okay? Hmm. Let's have some sleep. communicate with um, Mazi Clement Nebuli, sir? Mm, yes, I do, but not as frequently as I used to. It's been quite some time since I spoke with him. Well, I think you should go and see him. If your friendship is still as strong as you claim it has been all these years, you should see him. Help might come from there. Huh? Connie, you know me very well. I'm a very sensitive person. Um, uh, the moment I get close to you and you begin to feel that uh, becoming a source of inconvenience to you, I, uh, I withdraw. Darling, I think you should give it a try. Huh? You never know where our breakthrough might come from. Please. Mm, no, it's... It's going to be very difficult for me, but... It's not as if I have a choice. I... I'll go and see him, now that you have specifically requested that I do. Mm. I'll go and see him. I'll make out time to go and see him. Okay, thank you. Um, you said you were going to see your younger sister, right? Yes. I think you better leave now so that you can come back on time. Okay. Well, thank so, you. Take care. I'll be back soon. Thank you. This had better work. This is my only hope. If there is any moment in my life that I require a miracle, this is it. God, I'm a sinner. And I'm guilty of every sin. I'm guilty of all foibles that characterize human nature. Forgive me, Lord. And save me this once. I'll never forget it, Lord. I'll never forget it. I need this miracle. I'm 
that this miracle and I know, Lord, that you cannot let me down. says I should greet you. What about Obina? Obina is doing fine. In fact, he spoke to me this morning. Good. Yes, Good. Yes, <sighs> Ikenga, this man sitting in front of you is a dead man. What? What is it? What time you Mban. I don't even know where to start from. Three months ago, I collected a loan from the bank mm -hmm. for a business transaction overseas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Initially, it worked. It was quite successful. Um, you remember that three weeks ago, now the shipwreck off the coast of Spain. Yeah. All my containers were lost in that shipwreck. What? Oh, it's a pity. Everything. Since then, I've not been in one piece. I don't know how to organize my life. You know how it is with the bank. If the bank gives you a loan, it will keep breathing down on your neck until they squeeze out the last cobble. That's true. I cannot pay back that loan. The bank has now threatened to not just confiscate my property, that house where I live, the only thing I have left. They want to sell it to see if they can recover their money. You know that I have my family to look after. Good, yes. You know that my late brother left seven children and they have been my responsibility since then. Right now, as I'm sitting in front of you, I can't feed my family, let alone take care of my late brother's family. Then add to that the fact that I cannot even pay back the loan I took from the bank. Ikenga, you are the person I will tell. I was contemplating suicide. I'll tell you the truth. It was my wife, Felicia, who said, Go and tell Ikenga. If there's anybody who can help you, it is only him. That is why I came. Ikenga, this is my story. Jude, hmm? you have a friend. Remember, our friendship goes way back. And I have always taken you as my own brother in all the years we have worked together. I can feel your pain and I will now assure you that I will do all I can to assist. Thank you. 
Yes, Jude. There is a friend of mine who is a minister, and I contributed a lot in making him become a minister. I have never asked him for a favor before, but this time I am going to ask him a favor which I know he will oblige me. So, why not come out tomorrow so that we can go together to pay him a visit? Thank you very much, Ikenga. You have given me hope. I knew that you would not let me die. Agadi Hindu. Ikenga. What are friends for? Ikenga. We will do all to make you smile again. I appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, hello. Yeah, is that Tom? Good day. How are you doing? How was your trip? Yeah, in fact, I'm on my way to your office. I'm coming in respect of my friend, Sajud, who I told you about. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Welcome once again. Thank you, sir. Clement, <laughs> yeah. it's quite some time. <laughs> yeah, Tom, you are right. You know what it takes to run a business empire. Exactly, I know. Uh, yeah, um, let's start with it. Meet my good friend here. Sachu Dorakwe. I'm glad to meet you, sir. It's my pleasure. No, 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 the pleasure is mine. It's always my pleasure meeting friends of Clement. Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you, sir. So, Clement, I presume your visit is in connection with our previous discussion. Yeah, precisely. Good. So, what is your area of specialization? Well, sir, I would have liked to say general contracts, but because that term has been abused by a lot of people, I just confine myself <laughs> to two areas that are related, road construction and building construction. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I'll check through the contract column in my file. See, I'm not sure there's anything left in the area of road construction, but I'm positive about the building aspect. understand the rules of the game. I think I do, sir. Now, send your tender along with this quotation to this office within the next few days. You have to be fast over it, you know. 
when you finish that, I'll take over from there. Right, sir. Thirty percent of the profit goes to you, and seventy percent to me and my boys. Well, the terms are acceptable to me, sir. Good. Yes. Now, this is your first test. If you pass this, I will welcome you to the fold. I promise I will not disappoint your expectations, sir. Yes, exactly. You've got an analytical mind. We can work. Completely at your service. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. Say me well to play with. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. She hasn't. Uh, all right. Mm, follow me to the car. You just might be lucky. Mm? All right. Mm. 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 Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Ah. So, Reverend, 
That is how it has been. Things are getting better. I know they will definitely get better. They ought. God never forgets his people, especially his faithful. Now let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Heavenly Father. The King of glory. The Ancient of Days. The beginning and the ending of creation. I commit this family into your hands that you protect them against every demonic attack, against every power of the air, against every mammoth spirit, against non-achievement demons. In the name of Jesus, I bind you spirit of manipulation. I command you to lose your hold now. I say lose it now upon the head of this home. In the name of Jesus, I send you back to where you're coming from. Lose your hold. Let go. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let it go. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want you to cover your family with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. I just saw a vision of your husband tied to the stakes. Oh my God. But it is well. Amen. God has taken over. Amen. The devil is a liar. It is well. Please, when you leave, tell your husband to see me immediately. Okay, Reverend. I'll let him know that, Reverend. Okay. And please don't forget to always remember us in your prayers, please. It is well. Thank you, Reverend. The Lord be with you. And also with you, Reverend. And be with you, Reverend. Thank you, Reverend. Bye-bye. It is well. You don't know what you have done to my life, Ikenga. You don't. I came to you in distress and you lent me a helping hand. You have turned my life around. I've been able to pay back the loan I took from the bank. I've established a small business for my late brother's wife. She no longer bothers me every week for money for the upkeep of her family. My entire life has undergone a total transformation. All because you gave a definition to a life that would have ended in drudgery and hopelessness. How can I thank you? I can't. How can I forget it? No, 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 you don't have to do this. I did you only a favor. Favors are not paid for. This is not a payment for the favor you did. You are a titled man, you wear a red cap. 
I'm a titled man and I wear a red cap. In our culture, no titled man ever rejects a gift from another titled man. Not to worry. Remember, this is just friendship. And there, is, there should be no material attachment to friendships, particularly true friendships. Remember that. You're a titled man. I'm a titled man. We have known each other for quite a while. We have even established wonderful business relationship. I have a proposal to make to you. Uh, go on, sir. I'm listening. Good. Have you ever thought of uh, a political career? Politics? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, I never thought of it for a minute. I mean, why do you ask, sir? Okay, okay. Let me make it simple. See, a man may acquire the whole money he can lay his hands on, upon, but without power, he is nothing. See, when you join politics, you will acquire a lot of benefits and aspire to reach lofty positions. Now, secondly, when you belong to the elite circle, an inner caucus, so to speak, you will be able to protect your interests and investments. You must be referring to a kind of exclusive club whose uh, operations are known only to its members, right? Exactly. <laughs> we need minds like yours. Thank you, sir. I figure it's time I welcome you on board the ship. Well, sir, um, if you feel I ought to, and uh, it's a one for all, all for one thing, then uh, Count me in, sir. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you, sir. From now on, we are in total control. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Kedogidi. Agami. Kedogidi. 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 Yeah. One day, one day. One day, the number. Yeah. We're just going to get in the zoo. Mbano, mbano, mbano. Thank you. And my good friend, I just want to ask, now that you are doing very well, the business is growing, money is coming, and you are virtually comfortable. Have you ever thought of politics? Uh, it's curious that you should ask such a question. Um, well, I never thought of politics. I didn't quite like it. But the minister you introduced me to, who turned out to be uh, a very big benef benefactor to me, uh, talked me into politics. And uh, his argument was quite logical. He Good. said, you make money and you want to protect the money you have made, get into politics, join the winning party, and you get protection for whatever you have. So I joined politics. So as it is politics now, uh, you can say safely that I am in politics. Congratulations. <laughs> now, I happen to know that you have sponsored a lot of people in politics. One thing has always baffled me. Why are you not in politics? <laughs> Why? Well, yes. I used to be very, very interested in politics, mm -hmm. right way back, you know. But because of this nagging health problem that I have, heart problem, mm -hmm. it has made it virtually impossible for me to be in active politics. See, the doctors have asked me not to eat red meat, fried food, what? 
how can I be in politics? I cannot smoke. Remember, I used to smoke pipe. Yes, heavily too. Uh, and today, this nagging heart problem has kept me down. So I will not be able to participate actively. Mm -hmm. Rather, what I have decided to do is to stay back and sponsor politicians like you. You know? So that's the point. Well, uh, I have to thank my God. The doctors have not asked me to give up anything. In fact, I do anything. Yes, I mean, uh, wait. Uh, all right, there are two things I don't eat. I don't eat cockroaches and scorpions. I tell you. I tell you. Yes. I eat cockroaches. No, no, I don't eat cockroaches. Uh, I eat snails. <coughs> Come on. condition is stable, but it needs a whole lot of rest with little or no disturbance. Um, so can I see him briefly? Yes, you can, but be very brief. Thank you, Doctor. I'll Thank be you. with you soon. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Survive this one. Don't say this that. Time around. Oh, come on. Are you God? Eh? No, of course you will survive it. How old are you? There is one thing I value so much. Mm -hmm. Obina, my only son, my only child. Please, take good care of me. Take him like your own son. It's nice to have you as a good friend. And I'm sure Obina will not be misled because I trust you. Mm. Igenga, mm. what you did for me Nobody, not even my own brother, could have done for me. Therefore, I will be delighted to do anything for you, if only to show you that I reciprocate. Um, I am promising you here and now that as long as I live, I will take care of him, I will protect him, and his entire family. I will let nothing happen to him. Ikenga, you give a definition to my life. What you did for me, no other person could have done for me. But having said that, what about your business interests?
Все на Гаузе. Гаузе. yourself before the temple of Yaziki. Accepted you into the brother. 
take your seat. and associates, yes. The donut was made at class prefer today's school. Mm. Yes. That's good. That's good. That means you should work hard so that they will make you a class prefer. Huh? Yes, That's good. That's good. So, I tell you, um, Christ was good. It's good. You're doing great, huh? Well, that's interesting. I'm waiting for you to come. Jenna, is it true you are made the class preferred of your class today? Yes, Daddy. That's great. Congratulations. Thank you. Now that you are made the class perfect, your responsibilities have increased. You must get to school every day before anyone else. You must be very clean. You must learn to come first every term academically. I mean, it's not good now for anybody to beat you in the class. Now you are in the class, the class rep, Abby. You should lead by example. You should learn to treat others as you want others to treat you. Above all, you must start every day with prayers and lead others in your class in prayers. As I've always told you, a prayerless Christian is a powerless Christian. If you have faith in God, trusting in Him completely, you can achieve anything you want. Dad, you've always taught us to forgive one another. Yes. One of my classmates stole my textbook in school today. She was caught and punished by one of our teachers. She causes me a lot of discomfort. How do I handle her? <laughs> oh, well, that's a good question. Well, like I've always taught you, forgive her. But now that you have discovered that she is of questionable character, keep your distance from her. People are not 
exactly what they seem to be. Okay? Eber, are you following? Yes, Dad. You say that we should treat others as we would want to be treated. That's good. That's my boy. Dad, Dad, I would like to be a priest like the one we see on Sunday. <laughs> come here, come here. me now you promised you're gonna take me to the cinema for two days you did not show up mm, I'm sorry my sweet angel it wasn't intentional I had a lot of work on my hands mm -hmm. but you know what I'm gonna make it up for you I'll be waiting you mean that smile yeah. <laughs> and you promised to get me a jeans jacket yes and I've not forgotten either you know I've reminded me that your bed dead again so I could make it double I'll do just that. <laughs> and my perfume! <laughs> oh. uh, Obina, is um, Susan back from her journey yet? Um, yes, she's back. What about business? How is it coming? Hectic. Very hectic. You know, combining my business with my father's can be very unnerving. Very hectic. But I'm getting by. I'm getting used to the system. I can imagine what your experience has been like. It, um, like um, facing an all-female inquisition since you came in here. <laughs> You'll find that sometimes it can be quite unnerving. But consistently, you'll be ravenously hungry. That's part of the experience, love. To pay him something to eat. Kevin has been here for a long time. <laughs> okay. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. All right, I'm on here. See you on page. I'll get my jacket. Would you? Yes, the mothers do have them. What about that supply? Um, the. The guy that gave us the last supply, I don't know. I think his stuff wasn't good. It wasn't good. It was, wasn't good. And I was just dragging my feet because... Anyway, I don't know what to do. That's the truth. What do you mean you don't know what to do? Kick him out. Kick him out? Oh, yes. Kick him out. In business, you don't compromise quality. You can't invest in mediocrity when you have alternatives. Kick the idiot out. You know, I was, I was, I was saying since you recommended him, maybe I could just give him a chance. I recommended him because he is good, or better still, because he was good. Now that you have found out that he has lost quality, kick him out. That's my policy. In business, you don't compromise quality, son. Yes. <laughs> Kick I didn't him. know. You're just like my father in a lot of ways. Kick him out. <laughs> that's a great That's a good offer. Get out. I can't understand. Uh, uh, yes, he, I'm he, happy to be here. Yes, this may sound smart. People have got to learn. Um. And 
NRP, the Women's Party. NRP, the Women's Party. NRP, the Women's Party. As you are all aware, the elections are around the corner. And our great party must clinch the gubernatorial seats at all costs. Come rain, come sun. Some of our reliable sources have informed us that our opponents in the Social Republican Party are not taking chances at all. In fact, they're not leaving anything to chance. That's why they have gone for a hot headed lawyer as a flag bearer. So, what do we do to that? I also heard he is a product of um, Okadike's chambers. That means he's no small fry. What we need is to field somebody who is formidable. Yes. Someone who has lots of credibility and integrity if we ever hope to defeat our opponent at the polls. Well, that won't be too difficult. Um, I know that there are some people in the party who possess the attributes you enumerated. But whoever we may choose eventually as a flag bearer must, in addition to all those qualities, be a philanthropist. Well, that's the easiest way of getting to the electorate. Yes. People who one time or the other must have benefited from your generosity. And I think we have such people. Did you say a philanthropist? Yeah. Do we have such a person amongst us here? I believe that we do. I am positive that we do. All we have to do is spread our drag nets and we net that person. Hmm. But we have such person. That sounds interesting. NRP! NRP, the winning party. NRP, the winning party. What it means is that we should all get to work immediately. All right? Now, that brings me to the issue of finance. You know, without money, we cannot prosecute this big task. So how do we go about it? Is it by organizing gala nights? Is it by donations, free will donations? Or is it by tasking ourselves? I mean, somebody should suggest the best way forward. No. Well, Chairman, sir, I think it would be best if we made some voluntary donations. Uh, other activities may follow, but let's uh, raise some funds first through individual donations. I plan to give a huge sum to the party for the elections. Let me just start by making a donation of 10 million. That's a good way to start. 10 million naira from Sir Jude. Put your hands again together for me. Um, I will donate 15 million naira. Before the chairman speaks. And um, maybe this time from the ladies. I'm sure we'll have uh, some cash, madams, in our midst. Yes. The Lord herself. And I, Lord, Madoka, we donate five million naira. <laughs> Yes, 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 we're moving forward, we're moving forward. Okay, what we expect to hear from other parties towards, in my usual way of uh, helping the party, I'll give a token of five million there. Um, so, gentlemen, how can I help you? Dr. Bin uh, Nepali, sir. I know you don't know me, 
but I know you very well. Um, Chief Deprayer Kahneme, a businessman and a member of the National Redemption Party. Oh, I see. Um, and you, sir? Yes. I am John. Bobo John. I am a businessman and I am based in Abuja. I am also a member of the same political party. Um, you're welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. If I may ask, what is the purpose of this visit? Yes, um, Dr. Binder. We had our parties meeting two days ago, and uh, part of the assignment was to look for a credible candidate that will represent this great party in the next gubernatorial election. We know you remember, and occasionally you've been very instrumental to the progress of the party. Yes, and that is in addition to being a very successful businessman and a philanthropist of note. In fact, your philanthropic acts have gained ground among the masses. Oh, oh yes! Yes! <laughs> well, but, 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 but this is a bit confusing. Because uh, I, 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 I did not put up my data or profile on the internet. So how come you know all these things about me? Wrong, Dr. Bina. Real heroes are not hidden. You see, most of us have been following your progress reports. And we believe that you can lead us to the El Dorado, the promised land. <laughs> Look, I must warn. I am not Moses. Neither am I a Joshua. I am just a simple man. <laughs> Look, Doctor, we need you. The party needs you. Oh, yes. And I am certain that the people out there, the masses, would be happy to have you. Dr. Vina, the masses needs you. Doctor, think about it. You're welcome. I don't believe we see Think about it, Doctor. gentlemen came to my office today purportedly from our own political party you know telling me that the party as in our party is thinking about making me the gubernatorial candidate for the coming elections hmm that's surprising though but you've never been an active member of the party I wonder more I... like a shadowy figure that's the confusing part. Hmm. You know, I've never signified any intention for any political position. So why me? Oh, well, have you spoken to your uncle about this? I suppose you're in the same party together. Yeah. 
I'll see him tomorrow morning and I'll discuss the issue with him. You know, you've um, always nursed the idea of being a humanitarian activist in the UK. This might not exactly be in the same line of work, but it does put you in public events, assuming you consider running for public office. You know one thing, sweetheart? If I must be very honest with you, I am not really interested in this. Oh. Well, when I see my uncle tomorrow, I just, I just discuss this thing over with him and see what comes next. We'll see. Time okay. for bed. <laughs> it's getting late. Yeah. It's good to bed. It's a Remember, uh, you have to go to work tomorrow, don't yeah, so. Let me just finish this one. But you have to work tomorrow. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, I know what you're talking about because I was at the uh, meeting myself. Um, the chairman enumerated qualities which he said the candidate for the governorship must have and well incidentally um, you possess most of those qualities qualities that the gubernatorial candidate must possess uh, still I know that uh, you've never mentioned the involvement in politics to me at all honestly uncle I've never given it a thought uh, I make inquiries. If you are the favorite choice, then I'll simply say, give it a thought. A very serious thought at that. So, Uncle, this thing is already too stressful for me. I mean, how, how do you explain that already people are calling me every hour? And I received this from people that I don't even know how they got my number. And they barge into my office, barge into my house without invitation and they expect me to give them audience. I'm not used to this system at all. Well, that's politics for you. Yeah. Um, in politics, we are always gathering information. By the way, politics is laced with plenty of intrigues. Why do we gather information? We gather this information on members of our own party and store in our data bank. In the event of any member of the party crossing over to another party, in other words, operating from the opposing side of the political fence, you get that information, distort it, and use it against him. So you can queer his chances. That is politics. In politics, no permanent friends, no permanent enemies, permanent interests. That's what. <laughs> That's what. So I'm going to have a meeting with the chairman and I will discuss with him. If he insists you are the choice of the party, you will get my endorsement. That means you will go. Well, Uncle, um, let me provide. Um, <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. The people who are governors don't have two heads. You're brilliant. You just could be the one. All right, son. Thank you, sir. I wish you all the luck. Eh? Good. And um, tell him that my grandson that uh, the toy aeroplane he requested for his birthday I have bought it. <laughs> I will come and give it personally to him. He will be overjoyed. It's yes. alright. Uh, thank you. Uncle. Greet your wife for me. Bye bye.
good. How did you say? Great. Oh my God. Thank you, sir. Okay. I'm grateful. Bye. Thank you, Jude. Is there anything that has to do with the election? No. Yes. Oh, really? Um, what about it? Well, he just told me that um, he spoke to the chairman about it. Mm -hmm. And the chairman doesn't have anything against it. Wow! Fantastic! fantastic. Such a good news. Mm -hmm. Are you alright, love? Come on, love. Are you alright? I don't know, I don't know. You know, each time I think about this gubernatorial race, especially the way elections are conducted here, I have mixed feelings about it. Oh, come on. I understand how you feel. We'll commit it to God in prayers. And I, I believe God will give us some positive answers. Yeah, you'll be fine. Come on. Thanks. People of NRP, I salute you all. Thank you, Mr. Thank Chairman. You. Mr. Chairman. NRP, the winning, winning party. NRP, the winning party. NRP, the winning party. We are surely making progress. Yes. And I am happy to inform you that our political godfathers have found an able flag bearer in the person of Dr. Obina Nebolisa. He is a young man of sound mind and body, and he has contributed immensely to this cause a number of times. In a couple of days, he will be delivering his acceptance speech. Any objection? Yes, I, Mr. Thomas. Yes, madam. Will he represent the interest of the party properly? Well, I hope he will. I believe one of us is behind this young man and, and may have influenced his nomination for his own selfish interest. What do you have against him? Did you, did you hear that question, Mr. Alex? What do you have against this nomination? No, don't have anything against him. But, uh, but the idea of one person hijacking this party for his own sufficient choice. If you have nothing to say, shut up. You have no of me. Do you have any other? I don't like that. What's your problem? I don't like that. No, but you have a candidate. There is not one person. There is only one candidate. There is only one candidate. There is only one candidate. No, but that is one of the only ones. I don't want tempers to rise. Tempers shouldn't rise. Okay, Chairman. Chairman, I'll be back. Sir Jude. Yes, Mr. Chairman. I want to remind you that party loyalty and interest supersedes personal interest. I know that at all times. But, Mr. Chairman, let me also point one thing out, Mr. Chairman. This is an august occasion. Everybody here is a very responsible person. If anybody has nothing to say, let him just shut up. The fact that I know this young man did not influence his nomination. Is yes. he qualified? That's what we are talking about. What is yes. it? It is it. Which was why I said, if he has anything against him, let him say. Oh, yes. That's all right. That's all right. Since we have all agreed that uh, Dr. Nebulisa is our candidate, he stands accepted by everybody here.
Pirate's name? What is all that nonsense in there about? You utterly embarrassed me. Are you out of your mind? Don't tell me you took that personal. Of course I did. Oh, I'm sorry. That's an affront. I did not mean to ruffle feathers back there. Uh, there is something very important we must discuss. After the performance you put up in there, I am not in the mood to discuss anything with you, Alex. Certainly not. Sergio, you ought to hear me out first. Huh? I, I was shocked when Chairman announced the name of um, Dr. Robina or whatever. I wanted to nominate you. <laughs> That's an utterly ridiculous suggestion. I endorsed Obin. You shouldn't nominate me. Just listen to yourself. Your comments you know, reflect some degree of political naivety. Mm. Has it occurred to you that when he becomes governor, we would have lost our graves on things? Secondly, you, Sajid, the one and only Sajid, will address him as His Excellency, whether you like the idea or not. You can never predict to what extent his policies will affect your numerous business investments, our investments. You and I know the kind of game we play. Power is not a plaything for boys. I would have nominated you, but for what the chairman said. Come the next executive meeting, I will nominate you as our candidate. Alex, <clears throat> at last I've heard you out. I thank you for your very kind sentiments. You've been working all day and uh, your appearance reflects plenty of exhaustion. I suggest that when you get back home, take a nightcap and turn it. We'll see you tomorrow. I will do that. See you later. I know he will attempt to do it, and um, I've been thinking about it. Yeah, okay. I tell you that uh, I'm not bothered, and I'm lying to you. The driver, please stop here. Uh, just excuse us for some minutes. Sir. Yeah. I hope all is well. Yes, um, all is well, except um, there is some development I intend to brief you on. Go ahead, I'm listening. I intend to run for the government. You? <laughs> you? You can't be serious. I'm very serious, Jim. Extremely serious. But that's appalling. You are a kingmaker. You are a godfather at that. And you have a respectable quota in the system, the way it is being run. If there is anything you should run for, it should be the president and not governor. Huh? Yes. Are you aware this move is enough to cause a rift in a party? A party what labored so hard to build. Well, it might cause a rift in the party. But uh, it him affect the corporate interest of the party. No. You see, my decision to run for the governorship was informed by two factors. One, 
I am convinced that God has endorsed me too. Um, Obina, who is our choice for the governorship, may possess all the qualities you enumerated, all the qualities, qualities demanded of a candidate. But as a very young man, can remind of that. And as such, is likely to make hasty decisions that might compromise the party. If you don't mind, can you please elaborate? I, I don't seem to understand what you're saying. Um, you see, he's a young man. As is typical of all young men, he becomes the governor, he must look on us as expired folk. There are decisions we took in the past that is likely to override, and in their place, implement policies that are bound to hurt our collective interests. Remember what Machiavelli said? The first law of nature self-preservation. Do you not think in your opinion that this decision is belated? Besides, how do you intend to handle all this? Well, that's a very simple issue. I will approach you, Binna, first mm -hmm. and try to talk him out of the race. I will also promise to compensate him adequately for all he's thrown into the campaign so far. Then I'll proceed to contact on phone influential members of our party to let them know of my decision. Well, Sajud, as long as... I know what you intend to say. Yes, Obina is my friend. Yes, he's like a son to me. But as I said, he is inexperienced. It'll be good for us to preserve what we have always treasured. It will not be at the expense of the party. Well, that's where I, I am. I am. I am. I'm getting worried because at the end of the day, if all our efforts will will come to naught, then it doesn't worth it. Our efforts will not come to naught. Just leave me to handle this. All right. I've always trusted you and believed in what you're able of doing. Good. Uh, driver, let's go. They must really need your services desperately for them to do the much they've done. They must be moving at the speed of some. I, I just... Good evening, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I'll see you tomorrow then. Thank you, sir. Bye. <sighs> Uncle Jude. This man is working so hard for this. I'll see you that. Hmm? But you are working. As in this. So, Obina, how is the uh, campaign coming? Oh, well, I. 
Uncle, I've um, articulated my program. But in the process, I discovered something. This country is full of contradictions. The country is rich and the people are poor. The governors are rich and the governed are poor. We are looking for a man who will make the sacrifice to become poor so that the people will be rich. And you believe you are that man? <laughs> you wouldn't endorse me if I were not. <laughs> and um, how do you intend to realize this? Oh, the game plan is simple. The past administrators that have contributed to this situation, I mean bringing this state to its knees financially, will be brought to justice. The past contractors that embezzled the state funds in the name of inflating contracts will be brought to justice and the money so embezzled will be refunded to the coffers of the state. Now subsequently, before the award of any other contract, it must be subjected to undergo the due process. And the contract must be awarded to the most competent person without regard to nepotism or any other indices apart from excellence. And uh, you believe you have the wherewithal to realize all this? Well, I must commend you. Uh, these are very noble ideals. Um, realizing them could be uh, something else. You see, um, you're a very prayerful person. Uh, in politics, prayer alone cannot win you the governorship seat. There's so many other things that go along with prayer. You see, people get into politics for what they can get out of it. Gains, profits, largess, generally. And they go to any length to realize all this. I mean, uh, I don't know how to tell you this, but I'll say it all the same. I intend to run for governor. <laughs> Uncle. Uncle, is this a joke or what? You've already given me your blessing. Yes, I have, but you see, now the first lesson you must learn in politics. The impermanence of circumstances. Yes. So when circumstances change, we the politicians change along with the circumstances. And that's why I uh, decided to run. You know, um, I wouldn't like you to continue in the race. So I want you to step down for me. Whatever money you have spent in your campaigns, I will fund you, double it, treble it, if you so desire, but... Uh, I wouldn't like you to continue the race. Money. Payment. Look, look, Uncle, money isn't the issue here. We are talking about somebody who wants to make a change to a rotten system. Many politicians in this country have not been able to contribute anything meaningful to their society because of avarice. I've come this far, Uncle, and there is no going back. If I pull out now, this will put a question mark to my integrity. And inconsistency is not one of my attributes. Never. 
You know, there is too much to sacrifice in politics for the realization of the political ambition. And I don't believe you'll be as stupid as to lay more than your life on the line because you want to be remembered as a good politician. You know, as we were talking, I was looking at you and uh, I was seeing your father and I was looking at you. Your father was much more than a friend to me. He was a brother and um, I promised him that for as long as I live, I would watch over you and ensure that no harm comes your way. But the reason for that, your father gave a definition to my life and that's why I don't want you to come to any harm. Why don't you just back down, leave this thing for me? I'm used to it. Uncle, I've toiled ceaselessly in industrial vineyard to liberate the depressed, the dispossessed, and the disenfranchised. I've crossed the Rubicon, and there is no turning back. I like you for your resoluteness. I like the uncompromising finality of foolhardiness with which you just spoke. I can't change your mind. What it means is that uh, we just have to run against each other, which I think is unfortunate. But well, this is politics, very unpredictable. Political waters could be murky, could be deadly. But for young men with such a promising future as yours, a fine family, industrious, good looking, brilliant, why must you waste all your resources in the name of politics? However, well, it's, uh, if you insist anyway. <laughs> but I don't think you should, in your own interest. So be it. If I perish, I perish. I understand clearly what I am going to do and the implication of my decision. And I stand by it. Alright? Come and meet to your wife and children. Yeah. Alright. Hand of evil controlling the people So Lord, why should this be? Oh Lord God of hosts There's evil in the dark It's way in the dark Give me your light Shine on me, baby, shine Oh, hello Who's this? Oh, Mr. Chairman Good day, sir um, yes, we've met and we've spoken, but I am not going back on my decision. Okay. Oh, do you agree? Please, Dr. Wallace. Please, um, what are your findings? As you already know, the party is divided. And, um, some members are for you. Why not as a facade judge? In fact, with a reef in place, I think um, you should decamp. Besides, you don't lose anything by decamping. You still enjoy favorable reports and support of the masses. Decamp. Decamp. Well, um, I know it's hard to get the truth from anybody these days. But may I ask you once more, Chief Degree, on whose side are you? <laughs> Dr. Vinna, you amaze me. 
Oh, yes, of course. You see, I don't have anything against such huge. It's just that there is this thing sinister about this man that I don't quite agree with. He feels that he has got some powerful support from the capital territory. That is why he can manipulate every other person. I was an SY chairman in one of the local governments in the region. Check my records for verification if you want. See, I see you as a man of his ways, one that is ready to serve, a man of his ways, and that is why I strongly believe in you. What about your colleagues, John specifically? He's on the other side, and he believes they can come out victorious. But that's not important, Dr. Obina. This is the time. For you to set the missionary in motion, I strongly believe you will emerge victorious. You will emerge governor elect. That is my belief. Yes, I do. All right. Um, let me believe you. Dipriya, you have to give me the details of this decamping thing. Oh, doctor. I mean, um, in a couple of days, I will give you a comprehensive report of what you need to know about the company. It's a very simple thing. And it's by the time you finish studying it, you will see the need for you to be the best. Um, Sergio, now that he has decamped from our party, we can now thoroughly consolidate our grip on things. Now, I think this is the right time to start off your campaign. It's a very, very good strategy. Um, um, you give me a rough estimate of what you think the campaign would cost. From the figures I've computed already, we, we can start off with um, 50 million naira. Um, you know, we will print posters, uh, mobilize people, uh, food items will freely be distributed to market women and uh, to the rural areas, you know, the grassroots. They will pay for this letter, so don't bother about the cost. Well, of course, yes. But... And uh, oh, buy commuter buses, which you can donate to uh, all the local government areas to ease off their transportation problems. Uh, of course, you know, when you get into power, you retrieve these buses and then we set them off and uh, you know what I'm saying. So uh, you, you, you get your money back. You get your money back. And that's, that's a bad all. I don't think I'm... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. There's one thing more, very important. You need a group of strong and fearless young men that will, you know, uh, 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 guard your entourage always. Um, yeah, well, uh, I like the breakdown. The vehicles we must recover and sell. Huh? Good. Um, well, that's all right, but uh, as much as possible, I want to avoid violence. Yes, I want to avoid violence. However, if you go to campaign and you're welcomed with violence, offer them violence straight away. That's the game. Now you are talking. 
right? In politics, we don't turn the other cheek. We retaliate. If somebody hurts you, if it's possible, kill him. Yes. Um, look, we are not in this thing to serve the people. I hope you know that. We are in this because of what we can get. Yes, of course. It's a game. It is. We want to eat. Yes. And this opportunity doesn't come twice. So I want to seize it and use it. Right? Okay. Um, all right. Having said that, um, come in tomorrow morning so I can release the funds to you. Yeah. You can start off. Okay. That's nice. And now, uh, Chief, let me use this opportunity to wish you luck. You and it. Hey, you two require some luck for your campaign, so. All right. Thank I'll you see you tomorrow much. morning. Okay, I'll All see you. Right. Thank you. surprised, howbeit unpleasantly, that you would turn around to contest against your son. What an ungodly posture you've adopted. I am surprised that you label my action ungodly posture. Though I wouldn't say I am disappointed. I'm surprised. But it's your constitutional right to assess my action in whatever way you feel. And I haven't said that. You are witness to the fact that I have done a lot for the church. The, the residence you now occupy, I built single-handedly. Half the seats in the church I donated, and um, no matter how uncharitable your posture may seem, you're not likely to forget in a hurry that about two months ago, during a fundraising campaign, I donated five million naira to the church. Haven't I qualified for the support of the church? Haven't I? Give, and it shall be given to you. I know. God cannot be mocked. You did what you did for God. Not for me or the church. You had earlier on endorsed your son. Why the sudden change? Um, you are a pastor, not a politician. So you do not, strictly speaking, qualify to pontificate on political matters, no. I am perfectly willing to concede you all the authority as far as spiritual affairs go but not politics. Now having said that, Pastor, there are a few facts I believe you ought to know about politics. Number one, there are no permanent friends in politics. Number two, there are no permanent enemies. Number three, there are permanent interests. When there is any development in circumstances, we as politicians change accordingly. 
In this case, there was a development that necessitated my getting into the fray. So I walked up to Obinna, my son, whom I had earlier endorsed, and I told him, I said, look, there is now a change in circumstances. I would want you in political parlance to step down. I will compensate you adequately for all you invested. I was ready to pay him twice, even treble or what he had spent, if only he would back out. But he said no, that um, if he decided to step down now, it would kind of betray a trait of inconsistency in his character. So rather than do that to maintain his honor, he would want to stay in the race. So I said, fine, let's meet at the pools. So what's wrong with that? couldn't possibly be serious with what you're saying. It's not possible, is it? Until now, I've never known that uh, I caught the image of a joker before you. But you're not to blame. You have a constitutional right to express yourself, no matter how ridiculous your impressions might be. Um, I wouldn't ask you to leave, Pastor, but uh, whenever you make up your mind to, I hope you still remember where the door is positioned. Now I know that you endorsed Ubin and you believe it should be at my expense. It's your constitutional right to do whatever you like, so whenever you feel like going away, Pastor, I am sure you can still tell the position of the day good day. Sir Jude, I'll be with you. Gentlemen, I invited you here on behalf of my very good friend Sir Jude here, who is vying for the governorship election under our great party. Your candidate, um, Dr. Um, Obina, is proven very stubborn. And I want you to, to convince him to step down for Sir Jude. Sir Jude is very prepared and ready to part with a mouth watering sum of money. Four million. Yeah. Four million naira uh, to be precise. In fact, I would have brought part of the money to the office, but I didn't know that people were going to come in today. So, but um, let me tell you what we can do. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Take this 10,000. I use it for your fuel. Come to my house tomorrow morning between 6.30 and 7. I will give you a briefcase containing 2 million naira. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, when you complete the assignment, I will give you another 2 million. And in addition to that, I will appoint both of you into my cabinet. <laughs> Gentlemen, you have heard from the boss's mouth. So, do we have a deal? Wow! Leave everything for me. I'm assuring you, he must step down for him. Believe me, he must step down for him. Don't bother yourself. He must step down. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Um, gentlemen, please get into action immediately. We want positive results. We will leave out the expectation. Please. Okay. Tomorrow.
we are making progress. You are the best governor. Are you serious? I like the authority you kept away. What are you gentlemen talking about? What are you saying? You see, the opposition party's candidate is getting overwhelming support. So I will advise we go into collaboration. Meaning that you stepped aside for him so as to enable our party gain recognition so as to be part of the cabinet. Then become second fiddle. Huh? Better than being set aside. Sir Jude is a wealthy man. And the money rules the world. God rules my own world. And I am sure he will see me to the end of this. Mr. Obino. Uh -huh. He has withdrawn his support. You so what? It's better you work with him. I have God's support. And that's the most important thing for me. And if you gentlemen don't mind, I have more important things to do. Do think about it. We are living. is going to undergo a very strong transformation. We shall move out from here. Uh, we'll leave this place fast, you want. Yeah, because I'm going to build some structure of monumental architectural excellence. We'll move into that place. All modern gadgets to ensure that you keep in touch with every part of the world will be installed in every room. Oh. Everything you want will be in your individual room. Oh, that is that is so there will be a very, very big swimming pool. Ooh. <laughs> and of course, uh, there will be even a cinema house so that if we want to go out of the rooms and watch not television but yeah. cinema will operate it from there yes. it'll be complete we shall lack nothing now coming to you as members of my family um and uh, yes, i'll start with you oh yes daddy i will build an estate and name it after you this is too much. You will administer that estate. Everything you collect from that estate belongs to you. Nobody will interfere. Um, yes, Dad. Uh, you are going to finish your university education in style. You will abandon your cause of study here in the country. Oh, oh. Your school in the States. Oh, yeah. Just speak. I know that you have always said you love a Jaguar. So, um... Oh, Jaguar. I'll buy you a Jaguar with a driver <laughs> to be taking you to the class. Oh, you oh, oh, just for me. Take you around. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Wherever the university is located, 
The driver will take you to school and back if you are leaving off campus. Thank you, Daddy. And then your lecturers will give you lessons from inside that car. Uh, did you? You told me that there's a young man who's been coming after you and that you like him. Yes. According to you. Uh, we'll expedite action to ensure that he gets married to you so I can make him a commissioner. Hey. <laughs> and um, that means you can shop abroad anytime you want. Of course. Good. <laughs> um, you already shape out like the first lady. Hey, mom, see you. I'm telling you. You know, your office is going to be a mansion. Mom, see. The number of people you want on your staff will be given to you, and you'll be entitled to a fleet of choice cars oh. so that wherever you want to go there at your beck and call <laughs> and each time you move out there are two drivers to accompany you oh, oh. Hi. Oh, oh. and um, we uh, <clears throat> um, darling yes it's been a while since we saw Obina last. Mm. We only see in the church these days. I hope everything is alright with him. Oh, uh, uh, Obina, he said. Yeah. Yeah. I guess everything is alright with him. I spoke to him the other day. He's alright, except, well, I mean, it's been extremely busy. And you know, office work inflicts a lot of stress on you. So he's all right. It's absolutely all right. Whenever you see him, just tell him to come take us out to the beach. As usual. Um, you know, he doesn't have that kind of time anymore. One, he's got his family to look after. Besides, he's also campaigning for the governorship. So you see, the days of visits to the beach are completely over. But let's come back to the family. Yes. The transformation I am research for the family. Every one of you will be entitled before they come. It's a move. And put five million dollars in each account. Amen. 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 As for you, First Lady, there may not be a second opportunity to play First Lady. So I'll open three accounts for you. Abroad. Dollar account. Deutschmark account. Yen account. Yes. So that each time you decide to go abroad, you can shop in any currency you want, mm -hmm. anywhere in the world. That you may want to be the first lady. <laughs> and um, there will be more to be added to you. Like I said, all in due course, that's time, not too long from now. So uh, let's just drink again to the success of the Thank you, Dad. Hey. Thank you. 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 Excellent. Your account will be credited tomorrow morning when the campaigners begin. You will initiate the second phase. Remember. 
stay in shadows. Dismissed. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? Problems are meant um, to be solved, yeah? It appears our righteous opponent may not be pious after all. Have been there? Yes. What happened? My sources told me that uh, a group of unidentified young men visited your warehouse this afternoon. They vandalized the place, cutted away valuables. Who else could have done that? My office. Yes, I'm even surprised you've not heard. I I won't do any such thing. But you may disagree with me in some respects, but uh, we will not go that far. I was was not raised the streets. I mean, um, not a vagabond. He wouldn't do that. Yeah. If you say so. If you say so. Um, but I think you should be very careful. You know, tell your boys to increase their vigilance. It is very important. I'll see you later. Still here thinking about politics, I guess. Honey, your involvement in politics has cost you a lot. I fear for your safety and that of the family. We have lost James. I don't want us to lose any other member of the family. James did not die as a result of politics. James died in an accident. Politics had nothing to do with it. Nothing whatsoever. Is it possible for you to be thrown from politics? Did you say withdraw? 
Please, just shut up. Darling, you don't understand. Shut up! Do you know how much I've invested in this campaign? And asking me to withdraw. Go and sleep. But darling, I'm just trying to... I said go and sleep! Sorry, I don't recall advertising any vacancy. And secondly, I only see people on appointment. Okay, sir. As a matter of fact, I just let you in here because my secretary told me you've been here for four times. Now, on your way out, submit this your application with my secretary. Okay, sir. Yeah. And I assure you, Anytime there's something for you, we'll get in touch. Thank you very much, sir. And young lady. Sir. Learn to dress decently if you hope to find a job here. Thank you, sir. Imported stocks were stolen from these stores. And do you know some of my sales reps were badly injured, leaving one in critical condition? What? I, I don't know. Who's responsible for this? How, how can I know? Maybe the burglars. I don't I don't understand. Your Excellency, our political opponents are it again. I will fix them. What do you mean? <laughs> this is the usual thing during election periods. Is this the way election is run here? That is why we need to introduce surveillance around here, Doctor. I, I don't know, I don't know, right? I don't know. Anyway, if you must do that, you have to get some very trusted hands. That is my territory, Your Excellency. I can always rely on you. It is done. Yes, I that much for your Excellency. The, uh, the children uh, scheme, the scholarship okay, scheme. Okay, yes, yes, yes. I, I almost forgot. Yeah, but your Excellency, I don't think you can make it. I don't think you should bother yourself. I need to go and tell them why you cannot attend so that uh, uh, perhaps we'll reschedule the appointment for next week. Mm, I'll be there. I mean, we don't have to do so just because this day for the setbacks. You know? You mean you can make it yes, 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 I have to make it. The opponent will not be allowed to discover that we are in the salary room. Hey, Oziki! Hey, Oziki! Koluchi Matakaka! Hey, Oziki! Hey, Oziki! Koluchi Matakaka! You 
You may have your seat. Sir Jude. Great one. That young man is jeopardizing your chances of clinching that position. Why are you wasting time? Great one. I shall beat him at the debate that has been arranged for two of us. And after that? I would want him to be incapacitated until after the elections. Furthermore, I'd like to humbly request that all those who are minded to contest the elections from our party step down for me. So I will go unchallenged to the polls. Nothing is impossible before Ziggy. But there's always a price to be paid. Are you ready to pay that price? I am ready to pay any price, great one. Eh Ozigi, eh Ozigi, Kuluchi Managaga. 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 Who 
who visits him and when they visit him. I want you to monitor practically everything he does. If it's possible, get me the color of the air he breathes. <laughs> Find out who they are, where they stay. We're going to use them against him. You see, in politics, every man has got a price, right? So they are providing us some opportunity, which we must not let slip through our fingers. Yes. You know, these youngsters have a way of thinking that those of us who are uh, outdated and expired but you see they seem to forget that even though they refer to us as the old school that they eventually will go through that same school it is only when you are lucky that you go through the school and you emerge alive so I want to teach him a few political lessons so that by the time I pick up my phone and phone him and request that he goes out of the race. He will voluntarily bow out. Not even be under my own pressure. No. He will come face to face with the stark realities of politics. He will bow out himself voluntarily. <laughs> so I will teach you one or two lessons about politics. Oh. <laughs> yes. Your Excellency, sir. Good. Good. Oh. <clears throat> this is the original. Where did you get this from? Yeah, I have a few friends who live abroad. Okay, Charlie. Your Excellency. <laughs> Anarchy looms. Oh boy, I tire for this our politicians. From one Wahala to another. Nah, this election will bad. Now the guy don't they make waves. Which can rob this stop with that? Who know this guy? This guy know nothing about politics and you're telling me that he has made waves. Which can you wave with that? Make Who knows this guy now? Nah? Who knows? Nah? He knows nothing about politics, sir. You're telling me that the guy is with you. I've been making a comment. Oh boy, come! This guy, why I take my eyes, see? The way when they enter from one look to another. The guy don't already win the election, whether he like it or not. Whether he like make it enter anywhere, all the whole town. Whether on a like, make on a footer. Now who was a chosen, now who will survive A world full of intrigues The quest for the riches, the quest for the powers The quest for victory If wishes were horses, then beggars will ride A world full of mysteries the hand of evil controlling the people, oh Lord, why should this be? Oh Lord God of hosts, there's evil in the dark, it's way in the dark, give me your light, shine on me, let it shine, confuse me again, there's trouble in the land, the evil will try. Oh, 
You know, I thank all of you for the wonderful job you have been doing. It shows that no doubt our great party is going to win this election. Now, what am I going to do when I assume office? Let me begin with the problem that is common to the entire country. I will ensure that water runs in every home. <laughs> And um, <clears throat> light that will never be blacked out again. Because we know how to correct it. Yes. How can we be supplying light to other countries and yet we don't have I want to be Nobody will suffer blackout. All the roads that lead to where all of you live will be tarred. Now, you know, the problem we have always had is that very few people share the money that belongs to all of us. That is where the problem is. So, in every local government of the state, one, we shall have farms, government-owned farms. Yes. Every local government will have a big farm, will have a fish farm, will have piggery, will have goat tree. Food to be available to all. So that everybody must eat and eat properly. You see, if you are hungry. That's when you create problems. Yes, yes, that's right. But when you eat and you are satisfied, yeah, you are satisfied. my governor, yes. and you think properly, yes. that is for every local government. My governor, yes. the governor of tomorrow, the original man of God. Then those of you who are here. I know that most of you, your parents are in the village. All right. I promised myself that when I get into government, there will be money. I will make sure that that money goes round. Yes. Yes. We shall not look for trouble. Oh, yes. No. Let me talk about you people who have been working for me. I have a photographer out there. You know what I brought him? Yes, no, sir. I want him to photograph every one of you. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. You are the people who have worked for me. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, yes. so that every one of you will have a
The young man in front of me with crutches. This man standing in front of me. Ah, First of all, we shall start by giving you an artificial leg. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And there'll be a car constructed specially for you. I thank God that I have money. And I have money before I'm going to the So that the money I will see when I get it will be spread out. First of all, I believe that when I talk, I back it up with action. Oh, yes. I can yes. 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 bring that back. <laughs> Every one of you here will get a car. Get, when I get into office, I must ensure that those of you present here will get 1.5 million naira. So that you can build bungalows in your villages for your parents. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Whoever is your leader, I want him to come. So you come. Now that the driver is not back, what do you feel about the kids? Um, that means you have to drop them to school. Okay. All right. Make sure you have a nice day at work. All right. Yeah, yeah. Make sure you have a nice day at work. Uh, yeah. 
but it's my weakness, got nothing to hide. They are nothing but fools. The threats and blackmails and all them rubbing cannot stop the truth. Oh, Lord, I'm gonna hold us. There's evil in the dark. It's way in the dark. Give me your light, me shine on me. You ain't coming back to pick me. Coming back? What's the meaning of that? But I just got here. Sorry, I'm a bit late. I got tied up on the way with my car breaking down on the road. Where is your brother, Abel? My brother ran into your car a few minutes ago. My car? Yes. You must be joking. Where is, it? Where is the security? Matthew! Good afternoon. Matthew, where is my son, Abel? Your son? I saw him run into your car. My car? Yes. You must be mistaken. The same color, exact size. Huh? Oh my God. <gasps> where is my son? Where is my son? I saw him run into your car a few minutes ago. Where, where is my son, Matthew? You are joking. Ma ma they want you security in a place like this. Why do we have to pay people like you? Madam, I, <gasps> saw, I saw it was your car. <sighs> hey, Bill. Oh my God. Hello. Hi, darling. Ebel, he is missing. Ebel is missing. Oh my God. Jealous said he saw him get into another car. That is exactly like my one. Oh my God, where is my son? 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 Ransom for a bell's release. Oh my god. That's devastating. This is despicable. 
Why would one think of such a diabolical act? Why? We should think of getting our son back. We should think of getting our son back. Darling, I know this is crazy, absolutely crazy. But our son is worth more than all our investments for crying out loud. I think we should pay his money. Let's pay his money. Did you give time, friends? Oh my God. 45 minutes. <laughs> Just 45 minutes. <laughs> Look, money is not even the issue. My fear is, what is the guarantee that after the payment, they will release this young boy on hot? How will I? How would I know? We have no much time left. We have to get going now. I think we should accede to their demands. Obina, your son is more precious than money or anything else. Hello? What's this? Please, please. Yes, I will pay. I'll, uh, please, uh, just give me today. I've made all the arrangements. Please, please. Look, I can't do anything within 45 minutes. Please. Ada! Ada! Ada, are you okay? No, I will not let them harm you. Ada! 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 The quest for the riches, the quest for the towers, the quest what for the victories. The wishes of houses, the wishes of 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 the 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 accept my sympathy <laughs> and um, I pray that God in his infinite mercy uh, gives you the fortitude to bear this loss what an irony that my son's killer is sitting beside me offering me his condolences What did you say? You heard me right. Your son's killer. My son's murderer, to be precise. Maybe <clears throat> now you are telling me this. Mm. I see. So I killed your son. We may belong to two sides of the political fence, 
But I have always respected the sacred sanctity of human life. I am not the monster you are making me out to be. I have no cause whatsoever to take your son's life. He was like a grandson to me, just like you are a son to me. So, um, I don't know why you are talking this way. I can't understand it. You know, Shakespeare once said that there is no art to find the mind's construction on the face. I least expected that my father's most trusted friend, a man I deeply respect, should be the evil genius behind all this. What more do you want? You've succeeded in cutting off my lineage. What can be worse than this? Tell me. One part of me wants to rip your heart from your evil body. But the other part of me wants me to employ discretion in dealing with this. I don't know what else to tell you. But what I do know is that I have lost every iota of respect that I ever had for you. And sir, from henceforth, maintain a safe distance from me. Mm. I should keep my distance from you. If anybody had told me in my wildest dreams that one day, someday, these words would be issuing from your mouth, Obin, I would have laughed at that person. But there it is. What can I say? You know, I made your father a promise on his deathbed. I told him that for as long as I live, I'll watch over you as my own son. Irrespective of the comments you may have made today, I still stick to the promise I made your father. I know that there is no hiding place for the goldfish. So for as long as we live, one day, someday, the killer or killers of your son will be caught. It must happen. There is nothing hidden under the sun. When that day comes, as come it must, you will walk up to me and say, Sir, I'm, I'm sorry for all what I said. I express this sentiment in a moment of shock. And I will still forgive you because you are a son to me. Your father defined my life and I owe him that obligation. I did not kill your son. I have no need to kill your son. I don't need to kill anybody. It is not part of my philosophy. So once more, accept my sympathy over the death of your son.
thought you were asleep. Oh my god. It's okay. Okay. We have sacrificed enough for this cause. I think you should I think you should give up all this whole election thing and withdraw. a happy life together in London. I left my work after you persuaded me to come down home with you. Now look at all that has happened. To us. I know how painful pregnancy is for me. Particularly jury labor. Now one of mine is gone. How much grief? How much grief? Can I bear as a mother? That's the right thing to do. Of course, you, you can bear me witness that I, I, I didn't set out to become governor of my state. The people voluntarily chose me to represent them. And I can't disappoint them now. Backing down now will mean cowardice. It will mean that I, we have accepted defeat. It will mean that our opponents will laugh at us. And it will mean that Abel has died in vain. Look, nothing happens without a cause. And since change is the only constant thing in life, let us embrace change so that our nation can change. No condition on earth is permanent. I am sure that our condition will not continue to be like this. It will change at God's own time. So let us take heart and let us believe God. It will be well. Okay, let's go back to sleep. God wants 
wants you to serve him through public office. You have no option but to go for it. Although, I must warn you, politics in this nation can be sometimes bitter and very violent. However, I will commit you in my prayers. Have no fear. If that is what God wants you to do for him, be strong. Be courageous. God is your strength. been a pillar of support to me. God bless you, my son. May God reward you. God bless you. How is it going? Oh, good, 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 good. Keep up the good work. Yeah. You, you voluntarily 
chose me to be your governor and I'm not going to fail you. By this successful rally, you are sending a message to the so-called Godfathers. There will be no sacred cows in my government. Contractors that embezzle the fund, they will be brought to justice. In my government, there will be no corruption. Do not even Madrid. I want to use this opportunity to recognize the presence of the lady whose support has really helped me to come this far in this campaign. There's no other person than by the grace of God, the first lady of this state come the next election. I want to beg you of one thing. What is that? I don't want violence in this election. We would not take recourse to the old ways of doing things in this I want you to conduct yourself as peace loving Nigeria. And I guarantee you there will be employment for you after this. my only son and he promised me protection and wealth you have not been able to offer me that protection and I have lost most of my investments and you've done nothing about it when I joined this cover I promised you that I will not shed blood and I still stick to it. You want me to kill a boy who's like a son to me? I will not do that. I promised his father on his dying bed that for as long as I live, I will take care of his son. 
It was his father who gave a definition to my life. And I will not go back on that promise. I am satisfied so far with what I have done to that young man. It is not my intention to go any further. And now, Lord Marshall, you threaten me. Let me make it clear to you that if you decide to engage me physically, I am prepared for you. If you decide to take me on on the astral, I am set. And if you want it diabolically, I will not disappoint you. But let me repeat what I told you earlier. I will not shed the blood of this young man, or indeed, of any other person. And I mean every word of what I have told you. Do you know the implication of your decision? Can you stand the wrath of Ozzy? Death is an inevitable end to man. It must come when it will. If a man were to live for 20 more years and you kill him now, you've merely cut off 20 years of fear in death. I am not scared of you and whatever you represent. I have said my say. Look, this thing is moving. This thing is moving around my body. Yeah. Oh, spiritual. Oh, my legs. My legs. My legs breaking up. This is not ordinary. Obina. Obina. I'm going to pray for you now. This is a spiritual attack. I will pray for you now. It's alright. It's alright. In the mighty I, name of Jesus, I, oh. I speak to you, wicked spirit. I, I adjure you in the name of the Lord. Amen. I speak Ari back to sender in Jesus' name. Amen. I speak healing. Leg, respond to those words. I speak healing. Every ache on this leg, right now by the power of the Spirit of God, I command you to cease. I speak peace, peace, and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Be healed. Amen. Be healed. Amen. Be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Obina, God has healed you. 
the devil is a liar. I'm going to get you to do what you ordinarily would not be able to do. I'm going to help you stand up on your feet because the power of God has hit the plate. And give your hands. Just too easy. Come on. Come on, you can. In the name of Jesus, you can. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it. That's it. There you are. How do you feel now? You feel relieved? Good. The devil is a liar. That was an arrow. But you're healed. Amen. Madam. Obina. I want you to come to church. To service tomorrow evening. Make sure he comes to church. I will too. We'll conduct the remaining prayers. And you will be totally whole. Amen. In Jesus name. Amen. It's well with you. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. It's well with you. Thank you so much. How do you feel? All right. I'm getting relieved. Good. Okay. I believe it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Pastor. You're welcome. Thanks a lot. Okay. So I'll see you tomorrow, Angel. All right. All right, then. Bye -bye. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Abel, come back here. Abel. Abel. Come here, Abel. 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 Come here. Come here, Abel. 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 What's it? What's it? Been? Just a dream, okay? No, let's go to sleep. What is it? Uh, I saw Abel. Abel? Oh, please come. You saw Abel? Where? In your dream? It's okay, I think we have to pray. See, any time you see such a thing, the only solution is prayers. Okay? Let the Spirit of the Lord come down. Amen. Let the Spirit of the Lord come down. Amen. Let the Spirit of the Lord from heaven come down. Let the spirit of God We are even now. We are even now. Yes. 
as possible to prove to you that I had no hand in his death. You wouldn't believe me. I couldn't exculpate myself. So I left. Now you have evened things out. You've killed my daughter. I don't know what you're here to prove. Honestly, I don't know. If you had listened to me, all this wouldn't have happened. And I tell you the truth, sometimes vengeance isn't the best option. But come to think of it, listen. Of all my children, that girl loved you most. She loved you with all her heart. Every minute of the day she talked about Uncle Obi and I was referring to no other person but you. Now you have snuffed out her life. And you're standing in front of me, faking penitence and expecting me to believe you. God. No matter how terrible your impression about me is, I want to stand before God to say that God knows I had no hand in induced death. Never. You see, this was exactly how I felt when you came to me. But I've come to put the record straight with truth and nothing more. I am not responsible for this despicable act. I condemn it in its entirety and I want you, uncle, to believe me. I tell you something, I've been I've seen a lot in my life. Long before you were born, I began to experience the vicissitudes of life. I have seen men come and go. I have seen the seasons come and go. But my mind has remained the same, it has never changed. I promised your father and his dying bed that I would watch over you and protect you like my own son. I am beginning now to question the wisdom of that promise I made your father. I came to you to console you. You wouldn't listen to me. If you had listened to me, all this wouldn't have happened. Now you even things out and you come to me hypocritically to tell me that you had no hand in my daughter's death. Obina, you have drawn the battle line. Let's just see how this pans out. Let us see what happens. That's all I can tell you. Let's just watch. Let's see what happens. He's brown. Oh, we have an emergency. 
here. Please, I need you to carry out a delicate assignment. And I won't oh, forget it. I'm through with you. Everything. There you go, talking about a job. Where you still owe me for the ones I did for you. Originally, our agreement was to confine to the little boy and the teenage girl, which I did. Listen, I'm no more interested. I want my money. Why can't you see, get the big picture here? Huh? In a few months' time, I will make you a multi-millionaire. And you are here fretting about a few thousands of naira. Okay, I will pay you tomorrow everything. But I need you to take care of Are you care dead? Of God, now I can see. I said, I'm through with you. I'm through with everything around you. Last time I almost got caught because of you. And you still didn't pay me. Look, I want my money. Or else, things will get different in here. Please, please, Brown, take it easy. I will give you everything tomorrow, okay? I don't have enough of me. You can see that. Please, come back tomorrow and I will pay you everything. Sajud, for refusing to kill that boy, Ozigi demands the lives of your three children. I see. For the throne of Ozigi. The wrath of Ozigi is like a deadly weapon. Deadly weapon, my foot. Ozigi took my only son. I have not been able to survive it. Now it talks about taking my three surviving daughters. Let Ozigi dare me with everything in his or her arsenal. You will not find me wanting. Well, is it we witness the desperation of a drowning man? I think I've had enough of this nonsense. <coughs> Sir Jude. That challenges a wild cat to a battle of claws engages himself in a romance with death.
I will relocate you to uh, maybe London, Paris, many of course are your choice. And, um, you dare a reckless cattle in a battle of class. <laughs> what have I done to you? I said I don't want you anymore. I said I don't want you anymore. Why must you keep tormenting me? Why? Why must you keep tormenting my life for God's sake? Why must you keep haunting me? <laughs> oh, Ziggy is waiting. <laughs> Why must you keep disturbing me? What have I done? What have I done? God, oh my God. Okay. Yes, love, I, 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 I am. I'm sorry. I, I've had this migraine for a very long time since I was a boy. Sir Jude. Sir Jude. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You are inviting mayhem on yourself. Carry out this assignment and exonerate yourself. Zigi's patience has been stretched too far. But I told you I promised his father on his dying bed that I will protect his son and I will never harm anybody who is related to him. I don't intend to go back on that promise. Your defiance will bring you down. Carry out this assignment and come back to the family. You see, you are my friend. That is why I am pleading with you. Is there no alternative? The only alternative is death. What if I, if I refuse to execute the assignment? Then Osiki will have no choice than to strike you dead. Jesus. Mm, yeah. I, I promised I will not harm him. So I, I don't think I, I can do. I can't kill anybody. I can't kill him. Danny. Yeah, huh? Danny. Yes, yes, yes. That's all right. Uh, yes. Who are you talking to? Yes, I had a bad dream. This terrible dream. This sit at the owner's corner, mm -hmm. you will have a driver. But I think the most exciting feature about the Jeep is that there's going to be television yeah. in front beside the driver so yeah. that you can just lean at the owner's corner and watch television. You can watch beauty competition, fashion parades, Sports, mm. News, CNN, mm. Sky News, BBC, anything you want to watch is there. Saju. Saju. 
or Ziggy wants you back home. <laughs> what, what, what do you want with me? What do you want with me? I said, I don't, I don't have anything to do with you. I own you. You cannot escape me. <laughs> Why would you keep torturing me? Why would you keep tormenting me? I own you. You cannot escape me. Listen to me. What does it mean? It's greater than... What is it? Jude, <laughs> you said you were going to fight me. <laughs> now it's time. You said you would fight me. Leave me alone. You should fight me. I am covered by the blood of Jesus. You are too afraid to love me. Go back to the dungeon where you belong. In the name of the Lord of Hosts, I command you to leave me alone. The Lord of Hosts commands you to disappear to the dungeon where you belong. Kiss up here. In the name of the Lord of Hosts, go to the dungeon where you belong. Watch my lips away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. Get away from me. So are you alright? Are you alright? Are you alright? Right? Yes. Is everything alright? Yes. 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 decided to part ways with the brotherhood. I want to have nothing to do with them again. Nothing whatsoever. I knew it will come to this. That was why immediately your wife sent for me. I came running. You know, I had shared with your wife a vision God gave me of you in serious trouble. I prayed against it. You have been in my prayer since then. Thank you very much, Pastor. If there is anything I made while I was in the Brotherhood, I am perfectly willing to part with it. I want to be free. Now, we start by breaking the oaths which you took while you were in the Brotherhood. Secondly, you will renounce your membership of the Brotherhood in the presence of God. And thirdly, you will truly and totally reject all the works of the devil in its entirety. And then you will be delivered spiritually. Would you oblige God? I am willing to do all that, Pastor. Then kneel down and pray. Father in heaven, your son has come back to you. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, every oath which he took 
is broken. Every power of the brother on your head and turn around. <laughs> you think you can buy the finger feeding you? In this business, you don't step on toes. My brother. Are you Mr. Brown Johnson? Yes, officer. You're under arrest. Yes. Copra. Sir. Cough him. Meanwhile, silly move. Yeah, he's true. Move. Come on. invited me here for a chat and I've been here for God knows how long now if you don't tell me why you called me here in the next few minutes I will be out of here have I made myself clear please calm down please officer sir I told you I wanted to leave and you asked me to wait. I'm sure you did not invite me here to be insulted. Not at all, sir. I'd like to leave now. Please, calm down, sir. Please. I know there is a problem between two of you. And I think we have the solution, sir. Today! Get that young man. Yes, sir.
Mr. Alex Okwara Jesus. What did he tell you? Well, he wanted to eliminate both of you so that he could uh, run for the house governor's office. differences. I know that in your wildest imagination she never projected that so soon the both of us would come to see you. I'll tell you a story 
and I'd like to start by borrowing what he took out of Shakespeare when I went to console with him over the death of his son. Uh, there is no art to find the mind's construction of the face. You know, I spoke with him and talked him into joining the race for the government house. I told him he could do it. I told him that he represents a generation that can offer hope for this country. We have failed the country, but they represent redemptive factors. And I thought he should join in. He was reluctant initially, but I insisted. So he humored me by joining the race. He has all the qualities it would require. Then Alex persuaded me to recant my blessing and enlist in the race. According to him, if he got into office, my generation will be obliterated. Whatever we represent will be cast into the dungeon, the compost pit, the gutters. We would be seen as obsolete. So I got into the race. It never occurred to me that Alex was an evil genius whose main obsession was the government house. And the best way to do it was to create rancor between us, drive a wedge between me and my son, create a chasm so that no matter how much we try, we cannot see eye to eye. And he proceeds to do this by first eliminating his son, then going ahead to kill my daughter. And quite naturally, because we both belong to different sides on the political fence, he believed I killed his son, and I was convinced that as a retaliatory measure, he eliminated my daughter. As you would always say, God writes straight on crooked lines. Today we know the truth. Alex has been doing all this. And this is why we are here. By the grace of God, the law has caught up with him. I came to reaffirm before you that once again I am giving him my blessing I am backing out of this race because I have no business being there in the first place. If I became governor, I would have nothing new to offer the country. My generation has plundered and wasted this country. And I believe we require a fresh beginning, a new beginning, and only such as he represents can redeem the country. If he still thinks along the line that I am not totally spent, I can think of some advice. The door is open. He can come in. But I believe that if there is any hope of redemption for this country, it must be from such as he. New, untainted, unsullied, as the white man would say, and full of hope. So we have come to let you know that at last the storm is over and we are one family again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Lord Vicar, I, I want to say and I want to make it categorically clear that this is one of my happiest days in life. My father has been restored to me. And I want to say that I'm very proud of you. 
I want to thank God first of all for this reconciliation and I want to thank my father for his magnanimity and um, now that he has given me his unalloyed support I now have double integrity to protect my father is a man of timber and caliber he's a man of iron and steel I want to assure him before you and before the elect angels that I will not fail him. You will not fail indeed. This, I am very passionate about this quest to become the governor because I have really seen the level of the rot in our system. I want to make sure that this state becomes the state of the land of the incorruptible man. I want to make sure with the backing of the Lord that this inevitable journey to the promised land will not be etapated. My generation will not be wasted. And whatever it will take me, even if it is given my life, I have decided to offer it. And that is why we are here to seek for the spiritual support in this move which we know that victory is the end of it. Thank you very much. You did good. You did good. Nothing much to say, except that I will give you my blessings. I beg your hands. Yeah. Thank you, Father, for this Reunion. Satan has lost the battle. In the name of Jesus, I bless this day and I bless this coming back together. Gonna be just fine. Hmm? Something tells me you are the winner, provided the election is free and fair. That's the point. I mean, something tells me they rig this election. Don't you trust God again? He will do it again. He will. The International Court in charge of the murder case of Ruben Maxwell of the IROC will resume sitting tomorrow. The result of the state gubernatorial election is final act. Now the news. Dr. Obina Nebolisa of the SROP has been declared winner by 11,400 against the cabinet of the CROC. He has and done it! Each I can't believe it! This is God, you're wonderful! Ah, congratulations, Your Excellency! Oh my oh God. God! I can't believe this! God is so wonderful! Oh, at long last! I told you! Oh, I told you! Oh, <laughs> who was a chosen now? Who will survive? A world full of intrigues! The quest for the riches, the quest for the powers, the quest for victory. If wishes were horses, then beggars would ride. A world full of mysteries. The hand of evil controlling the people, oh Lord, why should this be? Oh Lord God of hosts, there's evil in the dark. It's way in the dark. Give me your light, shine on, let it shine 
confuse me again There's trouble in the land The evil will try to kill and destroy Yet I know I shall arrive